appreciate it. Our, our next guest is going to be Al Moon. So how's everybody doing this evening? Can you hear me? All right, all right. Good evening, everybody. My name is Alvin Williams, and I'm the founder of eBuilding Concepts, located here in Tampa, Florida. Originally, I'm from the state of Indiana. I've held two residential GC licenses, one in the state of Indiana and one in the state of Florida. I'm approaching nearly 30 years of experience in the construction industry, and eBuilding Concepts is proud to be one of Tampa Bay's first virtual reality and building information modeling firms. History about myself. Um, the 15 years I've been in the state of Florida, unfortunately, I found myself homeless on two separate occasions. And on the last occasion, I remember my math professor had uh, pulled me to the side and questioned me on one of the papers I had turned in and how the grade was uh, unusually low. And I uh, opened up to, the, to her at the time and, and let her know that I was homeless and living out of my car at the time. So by the grace of God, she assisted me in getting, finding a local homeless shelter and I started on my way to recovery. But also surprising is right now the United States has a, a serious crisis in the lack of affordable housing. Right now we're at 7.4 million units needed. And also surprising that the state of Florida ranks third in the nation with the amount of homeless people that are on the street right now with about 43,000 people. So the homeless shelter that I stayed in, I shared with about 50 or so other men, bunk beds we uh, shared, and I remember vividly uh, one night, or many nights, uh, studying under the covers with my, uh, with my flashlight on my forehead getting my homework done. But um, I'm proud to say that I went on and graduated top of my class, highest honors, and I went on to a firm, uh, um, start a, uh, a successful building information modeling firm, eBuilding Concept. So some of the things we do, we do feasibility studies as a service and we find vacant tracts of land where we figure out how much material, labor, uh, the track of land is going to cost, all these things to try to make it interesting for any potential investor to pick up the project. And I wanted to add a little something extra to it by creating a little miniature model of the portion of the, of the track of land that you see sitting over on the counter there. And so as I'm watching the 3D printer machine create this model, I had an aha moment. And I'm like, oh my God, why couldn't one of these machines just be scaled up in size and then we could 3D print homes? And therein lies the birth of Bill. <laughs> Bill's, Bill's acronym for Building Innovation Layer by Layer. For all those that don't understand 3D printing, all the machine does is it deposits material where it needs to deposit it, and it doesn't do deposit material where it doesn't need to deposit it. And it does this process layer by layer by layer by layer until you get to the top and you have a physical item that you can grab out of the machine. So what you see is a picture to your right there is Bill, we call Bill in action, um, but Bill's doing that obviously on a much larger scale, actually 3D printing a set of townhomes like you see on the model as well. How can Bill help in the grand scheme of things? Well, I got a few of them up on the board there, and at the top we have, uh, we're anticipating at least 30% more in savings in the financing. Being that Bill is a 3D printer, it prints things a lot quicker, so of course you're going to have a lot less or a lot, a lot savings in the financing side. And the material side as well, we're anticipating 30% or more in that, uh, being that 3D printing is an additive manufacturing process, so it's nearly 0% in weight. And last but not least, well, we're, we're really excited about how late, uh, Bill is going to help out with the labor crisis. Right now, we're also suffering with a shortage of uh, con contractors. For every co five contractors that leave the industry, it's replaced by one guy. So obviously, we can't. Uh, but just, just another, another side note, for, for it would take 828 masons to keep pace with just one of these machines ramped up at its fastest speed. So our primary customers we're focusing on are architects, uh, engineers, uh, general contractors, um, residential contractors, developers, design and build firms. And last, how can my community help with this? Well, we're seeking $300,000 to get the first level stage of bill built that would be tall enough to build average one-story home. And later funding, we're hoping to get in, we will take bill up to its final height of 37 feet, which will be built, able to build most two-story homes. And one of the creative ways we're raising funds is we're creating these care packs. 
And inside these care packs is going to be various essentials that would help out any, any person on the street homeless at the time. And we're asking for donations of, well, uh, every $20 donation we receive from someone, we're creating a portion of the proceeds, we'll, we're, we're creating a care pack, and the remaining portion of the proceeds we're taking to actually fund, fund Bill and get us on the way to our $300,000 goal. And we're, we've created four tiers in the giving. Um, so if you, if obviously if you give $80, it helps out four homeless people. Uh, 500 helps 25, 1500 helps 75, and 5,000 or more helps 250. Um, but I also want to add our gifts that anyone uh, would donate, donate money to us. Um, the first level tier gift, or the first level tier where uh, 3D 3D printing gifts for anybody that donates, all the way up to $5,000 will, where I would actually 3D print a, a miniature desktop model, and you'll be able to put that on your desktop, uh, similar to what you see right there. Not that big, but it'll be a model like you see there. So that concludes my presentation. Uh, if anybody have any questions, uh, please feel free to, you know, ask away. All right, you're welcome, you're welcome.